park, their pool park. It is the largest known pool park in the United States. They have five, six swimming pools here. Grounds are immaculate, it's beautiful. And we're being shown all of the features and things that they provide to their customers. And it's been a great experience. It's a really warm company. They, they're a big family. Everybody has been just really so inviting and willing to talk, willing to go on camera, talk about what it is they do. And we've heard nothing but great things about the company itself. So it's really cool to be here. It feels really good to be here. And I really enjoy the people that are here. So your official title? President. President of Presidential Pools. I'm standing here with James. He is the president of Presidential Pools. We're standing in their amazing pool park. James, give me a little bit of background of Presidential Pools and maybe your history and what, what's going on here in Phoenix in your area. Uh, we started as a very, very small pool builder. Uh, I think when I started with Tim, it was uh, 10 pools a year. He was initially a pool service uh, company and uh, we've taken off from there. We've uh, went from uh, as high as 2,200 pools a year, which was uh, several years back when the economy was going strong, but uh, uh, we're regrouping and uh, taking off again. Our company's doing very well, and uh, we really focus on uh, taking care of our customers, and, and obviously you can look around our pool park here and see what we're all about. 91 to 2012, and you went from 10 pools a year to High was 2200. Roughly, yes. Which was the heyday where everyone was building a lot. Mm -hmm. From then to now, obviously numbers went down with the way the economy went. But what are you doing differently to build the numbers again? I know you've added landscaping, you've added a lot of additional things that you do. What would you say are the things that are really setting you apart? Well, with the, the new products that uh, Tim Murphy's brought, Pebble Radiance, uh, Blue Square uh, 360 in-floor cleaning system, not a, no, nobody else has what we have, and uh, it's setting us aside from everybody else. I talk to people all over the country, and the guys that are growing and thriving are the ones that are providing the full package. We call it one-stop shopping. It, it is. Yep. They can buy a pool, they can buy a barbecue, they can buy the furniture, they see our service department, they see where Blue Square Manufacturing is, they see where Presidential Patio is. It's all right here, and it's all here in Gilbert, Arizona. Well, I'm fortunate enough to be able to meet people in the industry all over the country and I am very fortunate in my industry in the swimming pool business to meet guys from all over the country that do really really neat things in the industry but I'd like to just ask you guys a couple questions what do you see the next five years being like in the industry what are some of the game changers I think the biggest trend right now is, is this 3D design software that we use in okay. the studio because it allows the customer to see what their backyard is going to look like. And uh, we've really leveraged that. Now when somebody can come down here to the pool park, see what the options are, then they can see those options in their backyard. generating chlorine gas out of salt water. That, you know, you go into the easy touch panel where everything can be set on schedules. Um, you can have, you actually turn your lights on automatically every night. Then telechem is where we take and we read the, the pool chemistry with probes, um, reading your pH. And, and it actually adds uriatic acid for you. So as we know, keeping pH perfect, 7.3 to 7.5, you're actually, the calcium's not going to leave the water and wind up all over your pool tile. Pretty much between you do all this kind of stuff, your pool's on autopilot. Tim, how do you usually approach the in-floor system, if you don't mind? Uh, basically, talking about the, the differences in uh, suction vacuum cleaner, which is in your pool, you're always looking at it, uh, taking it out when in the morning, putting it back in at night, versus having a, a series of heads throughout the whole pool, not only cleaning the whole pool, steps and benches, as well as the floor, but now the other benefits are just circulation of the water. With our new um, Q360, it uses very little power to run our system because our valve is so efficient. That again, less electric when you're on the cleaning side with the pump, and again, you're not dealing with a pool vac. 
And then when you start talking other things with people, such as um, heating a pool, well, then if you tell somebody that you can really literally double their swim season, and it's a two-part equation, a electric heat pump, but what makes that work is in-floor cleaning system. You know, my pH is always perfect, my chlorine level's perfect, and then I throw my heat pump on, slow water going through a heat pump works real good. So you start looking at all the benefits uh, with that, it's kind of a no-brainer. Yeah. These are the different jets that they use in their in-floor efficiency heating slash chemical dispersion slash cleaning system. And these are the systems that I'm going to be installing in the pools coming up in the future here. I've started one now that will include this product. And you know what? I'm going to try a little bit of all of them because you just don't know what's going to look best based on pebble, based on the type of finish in the pool. I have a vinyl slash gunite pool, one of our hybrids, so we're going to need a little bit of both. Actually, actually, they pull itself up there and uh, you bring it up on the computer. But Ed really runs the commercial division. Am I out of line saying that? No, no, no you... I'm the vice president. I hold yeah. the license for the company. Yeah, and, so you... uh, I do all the uh, YMCA's and the LE Fitnesses and all the commercial projects in the company itself. How big is the commercial division in terms of part of the company? Uh, quite a bit of commercial work? We do about, uh, projects wise, we do probably between. 10 and 15 projects a year okay, itself. Good. The one for uh, Virginia Piper is actually a pretty unique project itself. It's, uh, I've been working on I worked on it for almost four years. What it is, is it's a facility for uh, disability people. Okay. Like when they get in a car accident or whatever they're doing it there, basically, they have no place to go. This facility actually comes in and actually what it does is it's got a whole series of uh, Equipment uh, for um, for fitness equipment. Fitness equipment. And, oh, okay. It's got basketball. Yeah, yeah, so what they've done is wow. created a facility. Those guys are like a health club, like everybody would do. That uh, they can go in there and actually work out and, and body build and play basketball. Oh, and awesome. it really is a family atmosphere. Yeah. seat right off their wheelchairs directly onto the onto seat this, there. And then get in the water itself, nice. do the things. Again, they can do I'm here at the Virginia Piper Sports and Fitness Center here in Phoenix, Arizona, and it's an amazing facility that has been designed for people with disabilities. Everything is wheelchair access, it's a complete fitness center, so it's not rehab, it's fitness. It's very cutting edge and innovative, and it's an amazing facility, so we were able to get a, a walk around the facility and get to see what it was all about, and it is very, very cool, and I just can't wait to see more facilities like this uh, show up throughout the country. Not really. Yeah. <laughs>